Hello everyone, welcome to Code Language. In this video, we're going to be looking at two HTML elements you probably did not know existed. Uh, this video is for those of you that are at beginner level in HTML. You can subscribe to this channel and every time I put out a new video, you will get a notification. All right, so subscribe and hit the notification bell, hit the like button, all right, and you get updates on videos like this. All right, so the two elements we're gonna be looking at is the abbreviation element, and then we're gonna be looking at the address element. All right, now uh, we're gonna be using it here just so you know how it looks, and maybe you might wanna try it while you're coding, you know, um, so the first let's look at the abbreviation element. Okay, the abbreviation element is um, Used to display acronyms. Okay, so let's say if you want to display an acronym like uh, Let's say who right which stands for World Health Organization Let's say if you want to display an acronym like the NBA which is the National Basketball Association All right, you can use the abbreviation um, element so let's put it to practice here all right and then we'll see how it looks okay so the abbreviation element I'm gonna I'm using this sample website and let's just follow this website right here so this is like an accounting website right and this part here we say is company profile so let's say we want to add um, an abbreviation here to indicate that this company here is part of uh, this is an uh, uh, you know an accounting company right so let's say maybe the owner wants you to add information that they are a member of the American Institute of Public Accountants right so we want to add the acronym and we want it to indicate that it's an acronym right so let's say we're gonna look at the HTML code and this is the part that represents that area right so we're gonna go over here and I'm gonna add something like um, let's say we are we are a member of the okay so I'm gonna bring my abbreviation uh, right here which is the a b b r okay it is not a self-closing tag so we have to have the open and then the close all right okay so inside of it I want to add a title a title to let the computer know now this could be very important um, for SEO purposes um, you know, so you want to make sure that the computer know what that abbreviation is, right? So let's put in here American American Institute American Institute Oops Institute of Public of public accountants okay and then I'm gonna go in here and then put the acronym of a I P A all right and I'm gonna put a full stop here and then there is a closing we're gonna close that element right here okay so it's not remember it's not a self-closing element okay so you're gonna put that in here and let's see how it looks on the front end now okay so you can see right here it says we are a member of AIPA and you could see that it has this dotted line underneath it all right now check what happens now as you can see when you read this it tells you that hmm something is going on here although it looks as if it's clickable but it's really not now if you want to you can make this text a clickable text and send them over to that you know the website of American Institute of Public Accountants but the purpose of this video is just to show you how to display acronyms right so when I put my mouse when I hover over it 
check what happens. You see that it has this text that's saying American Institute of Public Accountants. You see that right there? If I remove the mouse, it, it goes out. But when I put my mouse on there, you can see that right there. You see that text right there showing, okay? So in, in, in case, you know, you're coding your website to be SEO friendly, it's important that you put information in here that will tell the code even though it's not showing on the front end this text could help the computer understand what this what you mean by this right here okay it makes it easier some computers you know computers have become very smart these days uh, but it's helpful to make it you know to make it easy for it to understand certain things okay all right so that's how you use the abbreviation element in html okay right there all right the next one we're gonna be looking at is the um address element okay so what it does is it just displays the address in a certain way if you have a seo bot that is coming in to read the contents immediately you notify the uh, the bot or that SEO bot that hey this right here is an address right although again like I said computers have become pretty smart these days right so sometimes it's not really necessary but at least you are helping making it easy for the computer to read the contents on the website so it's great for seo the uh, algorithm or the google algorithm is more likely to rank you higher because they don't have to struggle to figure out your website all right so let's go in and try to use the um address element and see how it looks like so i'm going to put an address below this one to see how it would display okay so I'm gonna go over here, look for where the address part is, and then I'm gonna put the address element right underneath this one. Mm, address. As yeah, so you can see right here. Oh, well, there we go. Address, so let's say um, Bradford. put a break over here and let's just give it a some kind of fictitious address um, mountain lane something like that mountain lane Boulevard All right and let's say it's located in Columbus Ohio let me put a break over here Okay, let's say the zip code is that, Columbus, Ohio. Okay, oops, what did I just do? 43004, break. All right. So this is going to be our address tag. Let's see how it looks on the front end. Oh, looks like, okay, okay, okay. I have to style. I haven't styled it yet. Um, let me go ahead and write a CSS uh, style to style it a little. Let's see, I think this is my CSS folder. Okay, let me style it real quick address and we want the color to be white uh, maybe we'll make the font size uh, let me just make it about 15 pixels for now let's see how it looks did that fix it oh yeah it did cool yeah, so you see how it's displaying. Uh, let me see here. There we go. That much better. Okay, so we can see right here 
um, how the address element displays the address okay it looks a little bit like it's italized a little all right but anyway we did use the address element for each HTML okay so guys uh, sometimes you know some coders don't use it um, I recommend that you do because like I said it's it's great for um, SEO bots that come to your website especially when Google and Bing and uh, you know other search engines come to your website and they are crawling your website for content if they if they see you use elements like this it makes it easy for the bots to read the content on your website okay uh, it's not mandatory but I highly recommend it it's good to know that some of these elements you, you know these elements are available uh, to, to use all right so I hope you found this video helpful um, again like I said like and subscribe and I'm gonna be posting a lot more videos like this alright thanks for watching and uh, have a wonderful day bye